Uh, I did not learn how to fight back as a kid. Um, I picked some fights with other nerds, is what, what, what happened. Uh, and sad nerd fights ensued. So, um, when I was upstairs, the eldest, uh, she had her, uh, wisdom teeth taken out this week. Yeah. Um, and, uh, when I went up there on her, on her iPad, she was playing Make It Rain. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen this game. I have not. Um, it's not really a game. Um, you hold your, your phone, your tablet, or whatever, and there's a stack of, of dollar bills on the screen. And you just... And you... Yes. And it's just, it's a cookie clicker. You know, and it's just like you do that, and then you get money, um, and then you use that money to like take your money and put it in a bank and get interest, so you're getting more money per second. You know, right? And it's just it's just like a cookie clicker that you do it like that. I, I've checked it out like years ago when I heard the concept, and I was like, oh, that's hilarious, and I, I put it on the phone. So it puts it in our family library. Yeah. Right. So she like both all the kids go down the family library and find stuff, and it's like. She's been playing that because she's been, you know, whacked out on all the meds after the wisdom teeth. Yeah. So it's like something to focus on and, and do um, to get through the recovery and all that. Uh, and she asked me when I was up there, so how high did you get your white privilege to, Dad? And I'm like, what? what? Now, I played it years ago. That wasn't in there. But now... You can buy silver spoons with the money, and then the silver spoons level up your white privilege. Awesome. So she's at like 500% white privilege right now. Um, I told her, unfortunately, your grandparents did at one time live in a trailer park, so I had to give up my white privilege for some of that. Uh, I don't have any with me right now. Oh, what did I miss in chat? Let's see. So, so there was one point here, Noble Turtle. Uh, that was a funny joke. So I guess you 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 had a good one while I was out, or I did, and it was just stream delayed. Who knows? <laughs> the upper city has that medical facility. You can coerce them into a discount on goods and services. Uh, I did not learn how to fight back as a kid. Um, I picked some fights with other nerds, is what what, what happened. Uh, and sad nerd fights ensued. Now, my folks didn't live in the trailer park when I was uh, with them growing up. It was after I went in the Air Force. Now, combat mode has already been engaged, John. Stop trying to over-engage. Only the proper amount of engagement is allowed. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, and I had to make sure the uh, eldest child, who is a widow main, saw the video with the rarest line in Overwatch. Oh, yes. I'm moving the payload. I'm moving the payload, said by widow. She did say she wants a widow line. That if Widow's on the payload, she says, "Why is it my team on the payload?" It's a great question. Because I, I mean, mean, she plays Widow, and I prefer her to play Widow because that's what she's best at. That's what she's good at. Um, not like a legendary Widow. You're not hitting like crazy trick shots or anything, but just she's decent. She's contributing to the team and all that. And like I've said several times um, when we're playing to the team that's getting upset, I'm like. If, if it's down to the Widow needs to get on the point of the payload, we've already done fucked up, guys. Right. Like, last second in overtime and you're trying to buy a moment? Okay, but... It really shouldn't have gotten that far. You Air Force, yes. Uh, I was Air Force... Um... 94 through 99. Um... Kind of right in between both uh, desert operations. Um, I did serve on the Army 
uh, installation at Yongsan in Korea for two years. Uh, I was I was Air Force weather, so uh, Air Force weather get stationed with the Army. Korea wasn't the badass StarCraft cyber cafe having place it is now. It was uh, we called it Copper Korea because there wasn't even fiber optic phone lines. 2010, 2015. Oh, she just got out. Was stationed on Air Force bases my entire career. Oh, so you probably took a lot of shit from other army people for having it easy. <clears throat> I do remember the uh, army guys getting promoted like twice as fast uh, in the army compared to the Air Force. Like, Air Force has a lot of years of service requirements on their stripes required. In 2015, man, that's not that long ago. That's recent. Probably a hell of a lot different now. Signals Intel Analyst. So, um... <clears throat> I ended up being a weatherman in kind of a weird way. I, I went in... Um... Got a 99 on the ASVAP, right? Aced it. Aced the fucking ASVAP. <clears throat> and then, um, they're like, what do you want to do? And the Air Force was, um... Please don't hurt me. I just served the food here, that's all. I'm not like... When I tried, it was too hard to get promoted. Depends on your job. Okay. Um... But I don't know... So, we got 99 on the ASVAP, and the Air Force was like, you can do anything you want to do. And they kept trying to push me... Uh, toward electrical engineering uh, jobs. That's what my dad does. He's an electrical engineer. So I just knew of electrical engineering through osmosis. Like, I didn't study it, but just growing up around that, picked up a lot of it. I could recognize an ohm symbol, basically. And they were like, holy shit, he's gifted. Um, so they wanted me on electronics, because, you know, a lot of aircraft are electronic repairs and all that, and they were selling me hard on it. They were like, you know, you could be dedicated to a plane and a model so you could like right now say you want to be an f-16 uh electronics repair chief right yeah they were like you won't even pull the parts somebody else will do that for you bring it and you fix it and then it goes back in there and they're like the thunderbirds right the air force thunderbirds you know like they travel and you could be assigned to the thunderbirds for like a year you know as like the electrical chief uh, on one of these and all that they were selling hard, but the thing is, is I don't give a shit about electrics, mechanics, any of that. Like, software has always been my thing, right? Yeah. So it's like, no, I want to program computers. And they're like, yeah, we don't get that. Like, why do you want to do that? This is mid-90s too, right? Right. Um, we have some computers, but man, like, these are slow and clunky. Why don't you do this? And so I said, like, hey, okay, no, I want to be computers. And like, okay, well, there's an additional computer test to take. The additional computer test I had to take turned out to be just math. Like, it didn't actually have anything to do with computers. It's just that era of, uh, we don't know how to test somebody on computers, so they must be good at math. I think I got, like, 85. 84, 85 on that test. I, I did miss some questions on that one, right? Um, but that allowed me to apply for computer programming career field. So then I went into, like, admin hold. Like, I'm on delayed enlistment. I'm waiting for, uh, my chance to go in. Because they take in waves based on career fields for some of these career fields. So they don't just constantly take in career uh, for weather or for computer programming. It's like one time a year, this is when we take in and we do a new weather flight. And we push like eight new weather forecasters out or whatever. So I gotta wait. Well, the computer programming thing comes around. And the recruiter, who all recruiters are lying pieces of shit. Uh, and should always be treated as such. Um said, hey, there's nine computer programming jobs, right, that are going to be assigned this, this round, right? Sure. Even though I'm not guaranteed, I'm guaranteed an administrative job. So they had, um, I forget what the fourth was. There's like administrative, which is where computers was, electrical, mechanical, and something else. And I don't forget what the fourth field was. So they couldn't stick me electrical or mechanical. I'd have to get something in administrative. 
And I'm like, oh, I'll fucking take my chances, right? Like, I got 99 on the gays ASVAP, I got this score, I'm I'm Mike fucking Neil, right? Like, I'm, I'm gonna get this job. Yeah. So, you have to list preferences. When you go in, you have to list 10, right? Of the careers that we're taking right now, since you didn't go in with a guaranteed job, you have to list 10 from this other list of, like, 50, right? And there's shit on there, like, you know, SP, which is the military's uh, MP, which is the Air Force's version of an MP. Right. Uh, and, and just shit you don't want. You know, cleaning the kitchen and all that shit is in administrative as well. It's like, you need to list these out or we're going to fucking give you the shittiest job because that's, that's what the military is. We're just telling you the worst case scenario all the time. Uh, it's basic training. Get used to it. So, I listed on that, like, you know, I want this computer job. And then I was like, okay, well, now I got to list nine other things. Okay. So I start going down the list, and I remember, like, putting down Intel analyst, right? Right. Like, image enhancement specialist, right? Like, I'm like, okay, if I can't get a computer for some reason, looking at a photo and going like, okay, this blurry-ass shot is an M15 Abrams tank, and the dude out front of it is smoking a lucky strike right now, and there's another one next to his foot. By the way, there's no rounds loaded. You know, like, be in that. Like, basically be the the enhanced guy. You know, I'm like, that sounds cool. Right. I'll put that down. I can't remember what else I put. But I remember I, like, got to number 10. I'm like, fuck. There's not anything left on this list I'm interested in. Right? Ah, oh, fuck it. Weather. Right? Yeah. So then, then the assignments came out. And I'm weatherman. And then they go... We don't want to hear you bitchy because you didn't get the job you wanted every, you know, it's military and you suck it up. But, you know, we have to ask, you know, is there a problem with an assignment? Their fucking hand went up. And they're like, you know, what's wrong with you, Air Force? You know, that. And like your weather man. Like, yeah, you should be proud about that. It's a good career. I'm like, explain to me how 99 in the ASVAB, right? Top 1%, top 1% score on that shit, right? Yeah. Got to my 10th choice. Like, everything else, I couldn't... Like, this must be the super genius class where I'm like, oh, we'll have to give Miss Tint choice. Well, it turned out there were eight slots. They actually did pull that aside. They, they gave me some shit for a moment, but then somebody looked at it and went like, no, he's right. There's no way this should have gotten to his tenth choice. Like, his scores are too good. He should have got his preference. Even if he didn't get his number one, he should get his two or three and be done with it, right? Well, they pulled me aside. You got, like, this special counselor dude, right? Some officer comes in uh, to explain everything to me. And, uh, hey, Liz. Hey. Um, yes, we are. We are kicking it old school with KOTOR. Um, and John is doing an asshole run, but really the I have no health packs and I'm dying run. Yeah. That's what it turned into. That's, and that's it. I'm middle of an, a military story here. Um, so... This officer looks at me, and basically what it was is that, yes, there was eight computer programming jobs. Seven of which were guaranteed. So, there was one programming job. I was going in with 250 airmen fighting over one position. The, 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 the recruiter didn't tell me that part. He told me it was like there's eight, nine jobs. He yeah. didn't tell me there's only one eligible job. Right? The rest of these are guaranteed away. The problem was that somebody else had put this down and they didn't take the additional test required. So they had to go take the additional test that had to get scored and come back. Right? Yeah. While that test was away, they filled jobs for everyone else. They, they you know, filled the jobs. So my choices two through ten, actually, filled up. Okay? Uh -huh. Everything I put down, they gave away. Um, the score came back from the other guy. I remember I said I got like 85? Yeah. He got 86. Like, whatever I got, it was one point higher. And they told me that. Like, it was one point higher than my score. Like he edged me out for the one slot available, got to be the programmer, and then everything else I had at that point was picked and filled. They had no need for anything. And they're like, a lot of people drop out of weather. We can always use more weather people. So... You're a weatherman. And I shit had like a little like full metal jacket moment of like sitting on my cot in the basic training 
uh, light uh, barracks, sitting there, kind of slightly rocking back and forth, going, I'm a fucking weatherman. I'm a fucking weatherman. Next four years of my life, I have just become a weatherman. All the programming shit I was doing, all the code I was doing, no. It turned out really well, though, um, because I got to write a lot of code as a weatherman. Once the base that I was on realized I knew computers and code, there's a lot of computer modeling involved in weather. Yeah. Um, and the fact I can get that set up and running for them allowed me to not... I got two med packs, Two Mike. med packs? Holy shit, John. Making it rain? Making it rain. Look at me, half health GA. Mm -hmm.